What is going on guys? Stefan here with you, s and &E's Garage, and today we are in the shop with a 2015 Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> Presenting itself with a check engine light accompanied with a high idle and low power brake assist. So let's go ahead, let's uh, plug our X-Tool D8 in and let's scan it for codes. Kind of have an idea with where this is going just by what, it, you know, the symptoms of the car. I have seen uh, several of these with electronic cam phasers failing and it does look like somebody has already uh, tried to replace this cam cap here, um, which is another common failure. But let's go ahead and scan the codes and see what we have here. So we have our D8 already plugged in. Let's just go ahead and auto scan it. All right guys, so what we have here is a P0010, which is an intake camshaft position actuator circuit, uh, bank one. There's only one bank, this is a four cylinder. So that is going to point us back into the direction of this intake camshaft here. Like I said, just for my preliminary popping the hood, it looks like somebody already tried to replace that cover. Um, so we just went ahead and did a real quick preliminary check. Basically, the way this cam phaser works is it's completely electronic. So for all intents and purposes, this is an electric motor, and we should have resistance ac across the windings. Now, with our voltmeter here connected to it, you're, you'll see we have our alligator clips connected. We have no resistance. It's out of limits. So that tells me that this cam phaser itself has failed internally. Now, one other thing here that I wanna check is this little rubber cap here. What we wanna do is pull this cap out and we wanna check for oil intrusion into this cap. This cap internally should have no oil in it. There is a little seal in that cam phaser that can fail and ruin this cap. So we're just gonna pull this off, check for oil, and then there's one more thing I wanna do before we uh, start pulling this apart. And that is, I want to back probe these two connectors here, and I want to make sure that I have battery voltage at them with the engine running. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but there is no oil. When there's oil in there, it's unmistakable. That whole thing gets soaked in oil. Uh, so we're good there. I just set that cap off to the side on the radiator support. Let me set my meter up again very quickly. We're just going to go ahead and back probe this connector, start the car, and make sure that we have power to the phaser. All right, guys, so we are getting 10.2 volts uh, at the cam phaser, which tells us that the PCM is currently trying to actuate it. You want anywhere between 10 and 12 volts going to this guy during normal engine operation. So from the computer to the cam phaser is working correctly. Everything is trying to do what it's supposed to do. Our issue is definitely going to be in here behind this cap. So let's go ahead, check it out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift the car up. I have to pull the shield out from under the car. And then we just have to remove this motor mount and that motor mount bracket. And we can get this cam cap off and uh, take a real good look at that cam phaser and see what we have going on. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is drop this already very much broken uh, underbody shield out of the way, and that is going to give us access here to the oil pan. We are going to need to use a jack uh, and a piece of wood, which I do have to support the engine so that we can pull the mount and the mount bracket out. All right, guys, so what you're gonna see here is we have the jack set up under the engine oil pan. Uh, with a block of wood, that way we don't damage it. Now, when we jacked it up, we jacked it up just enough to put tension on the engine. We don't wanna lift it, we just wanna support it so that when we take this mount bracket here off, it's not going to drop. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is remove one, two, three 17 millimeter nuts and one 17 millimeter bolt. Let's just go ahead and remove these. Now that we got them off, 
we can go ahead and set the hardware aside. I like to just throw everything up on the wiper cowl. It just makes my life easier. So now we can go ahead and remove this bracket here for the motor mount. Now this bracket is held into the um, timing cover with a barrage of looks to be 14 millimeter and 12 millimeter bolts. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull it out and then I will show you what it looks like when it is removed. Now it might make your life easier to remove the motor mount here itself, which is this guy. To remove that, you're gonna have to remove the um, overflow for the coolant. That is gonna come out when we do the job if this cam phaser ends up being the problem. Uh, based on our testing, I'm, I'm like 90% sure it is. We just wanna you know, get eyes on it. Uh, so let's go ahead, get this bracket off, and maybe I will just pull the mount out just to show you how to do it, make it easier. Okay, so we're gonna remove this and this. Again, let's set them aside. And we're just going to move the washer bottle out of our way. Now we can go ahead and remove the motor mount itself. Okay, we can now pull this whole motor mount out and you can see just how much uh, room we have gained there. So now what you can also do at this point is take your jack and let's lift this engine up a little bit. You don't want to kill it, just bring it up a little bit. Now we can easily see where everything is. There's going to be one bolt here in the center. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five, plus the one in the center, so six. The only 12 millimeter is going to be this little guy here that goes into the alternator bracket. Let's go ahead and get that off. Okay. Now these bolts are all going to be different sizes and lengths. So make sure you remember where you pull them from. I tend to leave them in. <laughs> that one's not even in there. Um, let's get my 12 down there. All right, and we can now remove this mount. Now, ordinarily, it's supposed to be a bolt in here. Uh, it's missing for some reason, not sure why. Um, again, this customer had somebody at some point put this cap on, because that's definitely a new cap if you compare it to the rest of the engine. Uh, so whether that got misplaced there or what have you, it is what it is. There's supposed to be a bolt there. So now let's go ahead and unplug this. Just lift this out of the way. Unplug this guy. And now we'll remove the four 10 millimeter nuts that hold that on. That one's fucked up. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this off. Holy crap. So there actually is oil in here that we must have missed. And this seal took a real beating here. But What's more important to look at is this cam phaser. Let's, let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is a major problem. These are supposed to be like copper contacts for this cam uh, phaser. And you'll see that it's actually broken. Like this thing is, is messed up. I don't know what happened here, but I have seen this a couple of times and this thing is uh, in dire need of replacement. So that is going to tell me that this is 100% our problem and we are going to have to pull this timing cover to replace it. All right, guys, well, I hope this video helped you uh, in the diagnosis of a P0010 in your Hyundai or Kia vehicle. Uh, we just went ahead and ordered roughly $1,500 worth of parts for this car. We got the approval today. 
Uh, we're going to be doing that cam phaser. We're going to be replacing this cap again. Uh, we're going to be putting a timing chain in it with uh, tensioner and guides. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna, you know, get down and dirty with this uh, Hyundai Theta engine. We're gonna, you know, get it down to the timing system. We're gonna retime it, replace everything. And uh, then we'll be pulling it out and hopefully we'll be having another Hyundai in the shop to uh, show you guys. So again, like, share, subscribe, stay tuned. We're gonna have some fun with this thing.